Good evening, everybody. I hope this finds you at least cool while you're in here. So we'd like to welcome any visitors, and we're happy that everyone's here. If you are visiting, just take a moment and let us get to know you a little bit better. Announcements for tonight is please continue to pray for those who are continually struggling with cancer and other health issues. A list of names to pray for is in our bulletin. Uh, Roger Moore's liver condition, liver cirrhosis, has worsened, and he has an upcoming appointment with specialists. He came home from the hospital on Thursday. Please keep him in your prayers. Fern Colburn fell and broke her arm. No surgery and no cast, but will continue to wear a splint and return in three weeks for another x-ray to see how it is healing. Please continue to pray for her. Miss Dorothy Jones ask for prayers for her health. Suzanne Byford has COVID. Please pray for a smooth recovery. Jonna and Tyler Long will be hosting a youth Devo at their house this Friday night at 6.30 p.m. More details to come. The teen room needs a new couch. If you have one you're wanting to part with or would be willing to donate money towards a new one, please see Tyler Long. We'll be having a baby shower for Jonna Long next Sunday, July 24th at 4 p.m. John is having a baby girl and is registered at babylist.com. Attention all widows and widowers. We would like to honor you on Sunday, July 31st at 5.30 p.m. The youth will be cooking and serving you a meal. Please use the sign-up sheet in the foyer to let us know how much to cook. Please allow us to this opportunity to serve you. July 31st will be our fifth Sunday contribution. This will go directly toward our building fund and help pay on our loan. The Longs will be hosting a water party that will be geared towards the junior youth on Saturday, August 6th at 4 p.m. We will have sprinklers, water, guns, water balloons, kiddie pools, and more. If you have any of the above things and would like to let them let, let us use them, uh, for the event, let Tyler know. Tyler asks that you bring your own water. You know how he is. So, We will be taking a youth group to the Christ Quest Youth Rally in Mountain Home August 5th through 7th. We will be leaving Friday afternoon and getting back mid-afternoon on Sunday. Housing will be provided. All the kids will need to do besides bringing what they pack is money for four meals. Please let me know, which I'm assuming is probably Tyler or Chase, and not me. Don't let me know. So let Jamie know. It's just like working for the military, you know, it's been the tech. Please let me know this, please let Jamie know this Friday as soon as your teen plans to attend, as well as their shirt size. If finances are an issue, please don't hesitate to reach out. With that being said, if any church members want to donate money towards expenses for this trip, please contact Jamie. The Wallaces are starting a food drive for the backpack program and, for, and food bank of NEA. There's a list of needs on the, on the bin in the foyer. If you are interested in donating food, please check that out. Serving tonight, opening prayer is Bill Ballard, song leader Jackson Ballard, devotional Will Ballard, closing prayer, Mike Frazier. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you that we were able to come here tonight and we will sing songs of praise unto you and hear a lesson from thy word. Dear Lord, we're so thankful for all the many blessings you give us and our health and our good jobs and the homes that we live in. And dear Lord, at this time we'd like to say a special prayer for those that are sick and especially Roger Moore as he's going through his illness and, and Fern Coburn with her broke arm and any others that were mentioned, dear Lord. Just restore them to their health if it be thy will. And please bless the hands that are ministering to them. Dear Lord, we ask that the things we do here tonight will be done in a manner that be well-pleasing to thee. And dear Lord, we ask that you be with the speaker of the hour and help him have a ready recollection of the message he wants to present. And dear Lord, as we go out to the world the rest of the week, help us to be a shining light for you. 
And dear Lord, when we fall short, we ask that you please forgive us. And it's your son's name we pray. Amen. Good evening. First song tonight will be number 705. We'll sing it through twice. <clears throat> A common love for each other, a common gift to the Savior, a common bond holding us to the Lord. A song before the devotional will be number 450 sing the first and third verse give me the bible star of gladness gleaming to cheer the wanderer lord and tempest tossed no Jesus came to seek and save the lost. Give me the Bible, holy message shining. Shall guide me in the narrow way, precept and promise, law. song after the lesson will be 902, the first and last verse. Good evening. So as y'all can see on the title on the board there, the lesson is going to kind of be around David and Goliath tonight. Um, as I was kind of thinking about what I want to talk about tonight, I, I kept coming across the ideas of struggles in life. I know we all have them, whether they be in your Christian walk, whether they be dealing with things in your life such as finances, death, just however small or however how big they may be. 
but I also know that we are supposed to put God in the center of our lives to help us get through those struggles. So I want to read a few verses from David and Goliath. I won't read the whole story just for time's sake, but as we go through this, I want all of us to think about something as we ask yourself this question. What is your own personal Goliath? No matter how big or how small it is, just answer that to yourself. What is something you struggle with and battle with each and every day? But turn with me to 1 Samuel 17, and we're going to be reading verses 38 through 49. Then Saul clothed David with his armor. He put a helmet of bronze on his head and clothed him with a coat of mail. And David strapped his sword over his armor, and he tried to go in vain, for he had not tested them. Then David said to Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not tested them. So David put them off, then he took his staff in his hand and chose five smooth stones from the brook and put them in the shepherd's pouch. His sling was in his hand, and he approached the Philistine. And the Philistine moved forward, and he came near to David with his shield bearer in front of him. And when the Philistine looked and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth, ruddy and handsome in appearance. And then the Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. The Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give, you, give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Then David said to the Philistine, You come with me. You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin, but I come to you with the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you down and cut off your head. I will give you the dead bodies of the host of the Philistines this day to the birds of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel, and that all this assembly may know that the Lord saves not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hand. When the Philistine arose and came and drew near to meet David, David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took out a stone and slung it and struck the Philistine on his forehead. The stone sank into his forehead and he fell on his face to the ground. Now I know we all kind of know the, the gist of this story. The Israelites were, the whole army of the Israelites were scared and did not want to face Goliath. But as we see here, David takes his faith, puts all his faith in the Lord and he doesn't have the fear moving forward and he goes and defeats Goliath. I know as Christians we're faced with even this just crazy world today every day but I want to go even further into to our individual lives. I'm, as we mentioned before you each, everybody has that struggle and I hope you thought of that while you were reading through that passage. I know I struggle personally with putting my faith in God to help me through things. I want to be the tough guy. I want to tackle it all on my own. But if you notice from this passage, not only did David put, put his faith in God and it cast out all his fear, but he put, out, he put the forth the effort, and with God's power, he defeated Goliath. If we pray for the strength, if we however, pray for the strength for God to help you through your struggles, to get through a tough place in your life, it may not always turn out the way we want it to. But it turns, but God has it turned out the way it's supposed to. And we just always have to, as long as we put our faith in God and help us through those things, we have to put forth the effort for, for Him too. So I know, I hope this kind of brought some encouragement to everybody. Maybe it, maybe it didn't, but I hope it did. And I hope that maybe everybody will want to be more like David and with their struggles, whether that's in your Christian walk or that's just something you're dealing with that, at that time in your life. But if there's anybody that we can help tonight, please come now as we stand and sing. Nothing but the blood of Jesus What can make me whole again Nothing but the blood
Will you bow? Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in prayer as we conclude our worship service this evening, and we pray, Father, that it was acceptable in your sight. We also want to take this time to thank you for all the blessings you've given us in life, for we know that we truly are blessed. We want to thank you for the youth that we have at this church. It's a blessing to have such a large number. We pray, Father, that you guide us in raising them up and teaching them in your ways. Continue to be with those who are sick in the congregation. Let them regain their health if it be thy will. Give them comfort during their illnesses. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.